I guess, if you were to ask how my dad introduced me, um, he really didn't, other than it being his job. Yeah, they never, they never really forced it. They never asked us to like metal or to get into what they were doing. Um, I took a personal interest in it. Um, and I think it was one of those things, once he realized I, I genuinely liked it, I wasn't just going along with it because it's what they do or whatever. Uh, I think once there was that connection, he was like, okay, let me show you some bands now. But uh, it, it wasn't necessarily uh, forced or chartered that way. You know, I just kind of, I think I, I took one of your CD books out of your room when I was a kid and uh, went in my room and just put in random CDs and was like, it was like Celtic Frost and shit like that. And I was like, this is kind of cool, you know? Like, it makes me want to play guitar and uh, do stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty young. I was probably like 10 or so when I started listening to stuff like that. Well, you were pretty much born on tour. You know, they were yeah. coming on tour with us since they were one year, two years old. There's footage, pictures of him and his brother sleeping on guitar cases with Ozzy singing in the background, you know, like, yeah. it's crazy, crazy shit, you man, know. you know, it's like, well, born in a metal family, the chances of him becoming a, a engineer or, or a lawyer, very minimal. Well, um, that's, that's actually <laughs> funny that you say that, though, because a lot of, uh, a lot of metal musicians, kids are always like, oh, my dad's so dorky, he does metal and this and that, and, uh, I never felt like that, I thought it was cool, you know, I, uh, I never, I never saw it as a dorky thing or like, oh, that's like from the '80s. That's old or what? You know, I never thought about it that way. Um, so it was really like it was natural. You know, I just, I just liked it. Couldn't. Yeah, the know. cool thing that happened also was in the beginning. Like I showed, like he grabbed my CDKs to look at the bands I was listening to, and then later he showed me bands. You know, so it was like he was educating me in, in what's like. I should listen to this band or that band, you know. I mean, he showed me like Full of Hell and um, Yob and a bunch of other cool bands that I hadn't didn't had an idea they existed. Um, so that's uh, that's a cool like metal connection that that I talked to you about it that we have, you know. That's uh, that's like an amazing. And on top of that, he writes books too, which is that's not from my side of the family. I want to clear that out right now. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Yeah, if, if I if I see you with a, some, a piece of literature, I'll probably shoot the clone because <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think that's actually you. Yeah, man. But he no, writes I'm just, amazing, I'm uh, amazing all her stories, like Stephen King. And, um, yeah, that's uh, that's great. You know, I mean, Gloria, you know, his mom always wrote a diary all the time. Um, and uh, – um, I love that he does that on the side, have like a side thing that it takes a part of his life like that. So that's uh, very proud of him for that. That's uh, something that I really, really think it's really cool. Um, not one of our own, no. I, I, I thought, oh, maybe I'll do something with Soulfly one day, maybe, or maybe uh, this or that. But uh, no, it didn't really cross my mind to have something like this that's actually like a kind of 50 50 split on the create creativity and stuff like that you know um but it is something i always wanted to do so i'm glad that we got the cho the chance and uh once it came out it's like man we should have maybe done this a little while ago we'd have had a couple records by now you know but uh everything in due time uh but it, no it is cool to be in a band with them and uh it's cool to share the creative process you know it really feels like like it's it's our band uh, not his or mine, you know, so. It was funny writing lyrics. I hate writing lyrics. Always hate it my whole life. And uh, he's really good at it, you know. <laughs> so I'll be writing and like, do you, what do you think of this? Like, nah, that's not good. Like, go go back to the drawing board, man. So it's 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 cool, you know, like, I think the, to me, the, 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 the coolest, one of the coolest things was that time we spent together either writing the lyrics for it or the riffs we and we spent a lot of time on those things and 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 then uh you know jamming with zach when zach came on board uh and also the just just whole adventure going there and spend the day there and then um he would do some barbecue late at night uh there was there was one night that was the uh, uh, gloria bought me this was for my birthday i think it was like a really expensive piece of meat it was like a hundred dollar 
steak and he had to barbecue it. He was so scared. <laughs> he was freaked out. Oh, God, I yeah, don't want to fuck this up. I had my thermometer and I was <laughs> yeah. like, "That's this is too important a piece of meat. It's my dad's birthday. He wants me to cook it. I was like... It was some real bonding, though. Yeah. You know, it was some real uh, father-son time. Came out time. great, by the way. It came out amazing. You know, so, some some father and son, uh, they go they go fishing or hunting or something, but uh, we sit around and, and uh, do bong loads and watch horror movies and, uh, you know, come up with some intense heavy metal music, you know? So uh, it's cool. To very, be a part of it was amazing. Yeah, it was a very fun time. Always, <laughs> always going to remember that and looking forward to do more but i'm very couldn't be more proud of the record i think the record is just it, it's exactly what we need right now we need to hear that harsh raw reality and uh so we can maybe do something about it to change some of the things that are going on right now and apart from that it's just i love the the mix of the the old school f vibes that we all grow up listening to either be finnish hardcore or old school Hellhammer and Celtic Frost. The record has all of that, and also, and it was, it's cool that some people got involved, like Jeff from Carcass, draw the logo for the Go Ahead and Die, which just came out of nowhere. We, you know, we didn't ask him to do that. Nobody, you know, he did that on his own. It was, it was cool. really kick ass. You know, being a big Carcass fan like, like I am, um, and uh, yeah, we're just really enjoying now the, the process of uh, working with Jim, doing the videos. I think they're going to be great. Really, it, last, yesterday was an amazing. Um, so we just hope that uh, we get to bring this on tour, hopefully uh, soon. You know, it'd be awesome to play the songs live.